Hello and welcome to Kitterk Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska, and we are all staged down here on our big cornfield. So we've got to get all of this corn off of this field. It is our last field of harvest. So we're going to go ahead and just clean out the corner a smidge here and get started on course play. And we're going to go ahead and use the lands mode on this so that we can cut through in some sections, make a unloading run just a little bit smoother here. As this is our first combine, we're going to be doing the left side lane offset here. And we'll go ahead and just get this guy started. We are going to leave the stocks out here. We're going to have to get a baler running here at some point. We've got quite a few stocks on a few of our fields now that are going to need to get baled up. But I want to keep moving here on the corn harvest itself just to uh, keep things going. And we are going to save this uh, field though so that when we do want to run the balers at a later date, we have the option to go ahead and use course play to do that. And so much like the first guy here, we're going to go ahead and just get everybody moving. I'm going to help them get the headlands off here, I think. And then once we have our headlands off, we're going to be able to set up a course play driver for the grain cart, I believe. Now, I've got all of these trucks just kind of jammed over here on the side. But we're going to have to get them moving here. I don't want to be trying to fill the trucks right here in this area. I think it's going to be a little bit tight. So I'm going to move this grain cart out here a bit. And I think what we're going to do is actually just have these trucks line up on the edge of the field here. And that way we're going to be able to send them right back up to the farm. And so if I line them up here, we should be able to use the shoulder here to unload them so I'm gonna leave them kind of in the middle here we are gonna take two headland passes off with the combines so a total of 64 rows to give us plenty of room for turning around uh, with course play and everything I always like to leave myself lots of room so we're not running into issues and quite honestly this is a nice big field so I don't think we're gonna really have too many problems to begin with but uh, the smoother we can get things running the better so uh, there we go at this point our combines are honestly probably already getting close to full going down the uh, cornfield here i expect we're going to be seeing some pretty good yields so we better hop in this quad track and get ourselves uh, moving down to the other end of the field here so we're up here unloading on the go hopefully be able to keep this combine going now, there are some power lines on the far end of this field that are going to make unloading a little bit more difficult. And so I think my goal here is going to be to swing back around now, grab his uh, partner here behind him in the field, and get him unloaded so he can keep going. But then I want to try and unload that lead combine one more time before we hit the corner of the field just so that hopefully he's going to be able to make it along the top headland there before we have to worry about uh, unloading him again. And if we pop the HUD back on, you can see we are already over 60% full here on this grain cart. It's uh, quite fascinating to me just how much volume you get with corn. So we're going to... Uh, call this guy good enough and zip up to our lead combine one more time and see if we can just get him emptied out by the time we hit that end row. I'm uh, actually beginning to wonder how close to full we're going to be by the time I get both of these combines emptied out one more time here since we're already pushing 70%. So it looks like we've hit about 90% here. We're going to back off and let that guy get going around the corner here. Put his pipe in before we start running into stop signs and power poles. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, top off this grain cart, I think, with the rear combine here. We are pretty much uh, going to be full here. And so we might as well finish topping him off and head on back down to the other end of the field and get the semi squared away, get one of those headed back up to the farm. Be a uh, good to keep things moving, get that grain dryer filling up again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just fill up this lead semi here, I think and get him going back. I know I could probably set up a course for these semis um, that could handle backing up to the dump point uh, by the dryer, but I'll be honest, I think it's just going to be a bit of a hassle. And so I think we're going to do a bit of a semi-manual approach to our semis here like we've been doing in the previous uh, previous fields here now we are going to get quite a bit more corn out of this field i think and so we're going to be running a few more trucks i mean we didn't even make it uh all the way around without a full grain cart here so that's a very telling of where we're going to end up but uh i think i've also overestimated the size of our grain cart here it looks like we're actually going to need another load into the semi i uh forgot that these trailers are unnaturally large so we're at 52 percent so we can put two full carts in there um which is good which is good we were just uh concerned about how much how many trips we were going to make i thought uh this would usually i think a big grain cart like this would probably fill a, a semi up but uh we've got the room so we're gonna try and uh Skirt back down here to the other end of the field. I think we've got just enough room over here to kind of squeeze by these trees. We'll go find our combines on the other end of the field. Once we get things opened up, this will be a lot easier. Uh, but we will be able to set up a course play driver for the grain cart, I think, after we get this first pass off. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And you'll notice both of our combines are full, but we don't have any of the annoying course play messages uh, on our HUD. Something that has always bothered me. Um, I kind of know where my equipment's going to be, so I don't need the uh, messages on my HUD. So we kind of edited the course play mod a bit to take care of that so that the messages are unable to show. We're going to get this lead combine going here first keep him moving he should be able to make it down to the corner now after uh i get him unloaded here i think we'll get that course play course all set up for the grain cart here and then we'll start running trucks back up to the farm i think there we go he's all emptied out let's get out of the way um i'm not sure if this guy is completely full it looks like he is i was kind of hoping he'd make the corner because i can unload him on the go um, maybe what I'll do, since he'll take a minute to get started up and move in, I'll face this way. Oh, nope, he's just ready to go. Well, at least he made the corner here. We'll get caught up to him now and keep him unloading. I was hoping to avoid unloading around a curve here is, uh, what I was thinking, but... Sometimes it just doesn't quite work out for you. So we'll let him make his corner here and then I'll uh, finish unloading him. Oh, let's uh, get off of the cornstalk uh, windrow here. We don't need to be crushing that down with our giant tracks. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious exactly what we are yielding now. Maybe we should uh, hop in the combine here once the corn's emptied out. I'm trying to look in the hopper here. We'll, uh, we'll hop out here and jump into this guy and see what his averages are looking like. We're at a 215 bushel an acre average right now. Which doesn't look great, but then if you realize from a soil type perspective, I think we're in, we were in a little bit of the silty clay there, which drops our overall yield as we 
move back down here, we're going to be in these green areas, which is going to bring start bringing our average back up here. So you can already see that number climbing uh, to 18. Uh, and so I expect that to continue to go up. So not uh, record breaking corn here in this field. But again, we didn't do anything with our pH levels. And we've got kind of a mix of soil types here in this field. So not totally unexpected uh, that it's not uh, the most amazing yields. Now, we've got all these trees here, so I'm not going to be able to get up and unload our lead combine. I'm really hoping he makes the corner, but uh, I think he's going to end up getting full here before he gets to the corner of the field, if I had to guess. So I'm really kind of just waiting to see him cut in so we can get up there and get him unloaded. There we go. He's cutting in. So we'll just uh, take the little bit back out of this combine since we're right here. And we're going to have to wait for a moment anyway. Oh man, we're getting full here. I don't know if I'm going to have the capacity to hold everything in the grain tank. Hopefully we can get him emptied out so he can keep cranking here. Yeah, we're full. All right, well, he'll definitely make the corner with that, though. So I'm going to go get unloading here into the semi. We'll get that all moving and grooving here. It's going to take him a couple minutes to get back up to the farmyard. And uh, then we can go up and deal with uh, making sure we got the dryer all set up still. Should be good to go. We may also need to bring the truck out with the fuel tank on it. We've got quite a bit of, we've used quite a bit of fuel here uh, during harvest, and I sent all of the equipment straight over here from the other cornfield. We didn't stop at the farm first. We maybe needed to refuel these combines, and uh, I just didn't think about it. So we've got to we've got to get that going too because we don't want things to get held up because we ran out of fuel. The semi's looking like it's almost full here. There we go. He's all good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start dumping here. And luckily we are going to use uh, auto drive here to kind of get us going. So just make sure that we're on the course. He's going to take, oh man, almost five minutes to get uh, up to the main yard here. So we've got plenty of time. We'll let him... Uh, get moving and we gotta just keep going we gotta get back in this grain cart and unload the combines here and then i suppose i'm gonna be able to set up a course play course here for him i need to find a good point of reference for where to park the trucks as they come back and uh, need to be refueled so that i know that i'm in my course play trigger here so We'll think about that, but we're going to just make sure that this combine doesn't stop real quick because he, uh, he is full. Now, I'm worried that we're not going to be able to get the truck emptied and sent back down here fast enough to keep up with these two guys. We are likely going to have a little bit of inefficiency, some downtime while we're waiting to unload, but we'll see how it goes here. So he's empty. Let's get spun back around here get the other guy empty because he is almost full and then we will uh, take a moment to get the course play course going I think Whew. we were having a struggle getting lined up here and we almost didn't make it that is uh that was a full hopper for sure but we're all good now I think there's still a little bit in that hopper though so we're gonna Get back up here in line and double check. Yep, he still had a good 25% left in there. So we'll keep it uh, keep it moving. And then, quite honestly, I'm going to be surprised now if this lead combine isn't already half full. Which is going to be the struggle. But since he's moving away from me, I figure since we're right here, we might as well try and uh, unload him. And our semi made it up to the yard here, it looks like, which is uh, something that needs to get dealt with since it's going to take him another five minutes to get back down here. So we're just going to grab a little bit here. That looks good. We'll leave this guy here. 
He's got 25% capacity left. And we'll jump all the way up here to the farm and just uh, make sure that we're going to be able to get this guy all going here. Now, we've got the auger set up here. I think what we're going to do is just uh, use this big spot in the yard like this and see if we can manage to back in here. Uh, before, I think I was kind of running around the bins and then backing up. Uh, probably how I would have done it in real life. Just a little bit easier than trying to spin around in place and back up if you come at it already lined up the right way. But uh, here we go. Not a perfect uh, line up there, but close enough. It's going into the hopper. No complaints. And if I jump out here, it's going into the grain dryer here so let's bring up the grain dryer menu here just to check on it and uh yeah we're filling up the corn here we have an invisible wet bin we've got uh we're gonna need some more propane so maybe we'll add a few thousand liters of propane we'll call the uh call the fuel company here get them to bring out that propane for us uh I'm gonna go ahead and hop in this auger and we'll get the corn moving out of the grain dryer here as long as we're sitting here. There's a good 450 bushels. Um, this unload auger is pretty cool. It's very flexible, but it doesn't seem to have an unload animation, unfortunately. So that's something that uh, I would wanna work on at some point here. But either way, we've got uh, those bushels moving into this grain truck so you can see we got 577 bushels here we're gonna let that go we'll leave that there until it's full so we don't have to monkey with the augers too much and we'll get this truck moving back up to the field and i'm almost positive by now that we've spent uh, so much time up here kind of making sure this process was going to work that uh our combines are gonna be getting full, so we better get back up there and uh, check on them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab the pickup and we're gonna get it fueling up with some diesel because, uh, yeah, we're gonna need it out there, I'm pretty sure. And it takes just a little bit to get the diesel fuel uh, filled up on this tank, so we might as well start that going. Oh, we filled up ourselves. Let's see if we can figure out how to fuel the tank now. Perfect, all right, so while that's going, it's time to get hauling some corn. So first, I think we're gonna grab what's in this rear combine because it is closer, and honestly, we don't have that much room in the grain cart, so we're gonna need to get back up here anyway. We should be able to get everything we need off of uh, this combine to get ourselves filled up and back down to the other end to load up that truck. Now that truck shouldn't be full though because we've only put a little bit of the extra from the previous dump in there. So we'll get at least one more trailer into the semi that's sitting on the end of the field right now. And uh, honestly, we'll probably have enough by the time we get back down here and get around the corner with these combines, get them unloaded. We'll end up on the right end of the field here with a full green cart. So I'll fill that semi off and get him sent back up to the farm. I think our biggest limiting factor here is honestly going to be uh, how long it takes to drive back down to the end of the field here with the full green cart right now. So while we do that, it looks like our semi's already back. So I was worried about the road time taking a while, but I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. So I'm gonna get course play going here as well, I think. So first things first, we're going to set a start point somewhere right around here, I think. And so I wanna have uh, the start points be on the field as usual, and then I want to turn out here well before we get to our semi. We'll set a wait point here for ourselves. And then we're going to bring it right back up here. 
and hit stop. Now I want to start this at the first waypoint. And we did just bump into the semi here when we were coming in. And so I think what I'm going to do is fire him up and just back him up a smidge. We'll see how the course play driver does. And the other thing I forgot to do while I was in here is set that we're going to be looking for these two combines. So that looked about perfect. I couldn't have uh, asked for him to do any better than that. Just turn the course on for a second. It's looking really good. I could actually probably have this semi be a little bit further back than he is right now. I'm not going to move him just now. I'm going to wait a second until the grain cart gets moving here. But uh, I think if I can keep them lined up with this grass edge here like we've done, we'll be in a, we'll be in a good spot here. And so we've got the horse play driver all set up and moving here hopefully he's gonna figure out how to get whoops get out here to our combines it looks like he's doing a good job and this will get easier as we take off two more headland passes here all right the moment of truth course play seems to have its act together today though so i think we're gonna be good to go here there it is. Looking good, course play, looking good. So we'll get this guy emptied out. He should bounce right back and empty the following combine out here then. And uh, we're going to be in a good spot. Kind of waiting to see how he decides to go about that. I guess I can hop out and hop in the other combine. Curious to see if our average yield has really improved at all here. 231 bushels an acre, so average yield is coming up. And uh, you can see the green cart driver already started hitting over here. I think they're set to call at 50%, so that gives the green cart driver plenty of time to figure out how to get there. I do like that the combines slow down when the driver's kind of getting near and trying to figure out where to go. Seems to help course play out quite a bit. We've had a lot better luck here uh, with the more recent versions of course play than we did earlier in FS19, that's for sure. And you can see our fuel is all the way down at an eight here. So that's something we are gonna need to deal with like I thought, which is not a problem. We'll have to get that uh, pickup sent out here with the fuel. And uh, I'm excited because both of our combines are moving. And the grain cart is uh, keeping up with us so far. So we'll see how the next few passes play out here. We are going to need to cut through this field here at some point. So I'm kind of curious to see if we can manage to get all the way through this field without a lot of hassle. But uh, let's jump back over to the farm and bring our pickup over here. We've got the fuel all ready to go. Get this... Uh, Get this bad boy headed back over here to the field. I've been following the updates by uh, Northwest Mods and Edits, and it looks like he's getting close on releasing this truck. Lots of good updates, lots of improvements that he's been making to it. And so if you're uh, curious to get this uh, limited Super Duty, go ahead and follow Northwest Mods and Edits on Facebook. He's got a Facebook group. And yeah, I think this thing is getting ready for release soon. It's a looking great. All right, we're coming up here on the field and it looks like uh, the grain cart's coming back all filled up, but possibly. Not quite sure. We're gonna go ahead and just put this truck over here though, out of the way. It looks like our combines are still moving though. So oh, that's good. And uh, maybe he's just coming up here to unload. He is uh, moving a little but uh, slow, like he's trying to get lined up here. We'll hop in. Oh yeah, he's full. He's just waiting for this guy to get out of his way, probably. It looks like the header's overlapping into the headland here. And uh, 
he didn't have enough room to get around. Now he's gonna cut through here and get moving, so while he does that, we're gonna fire this other semi up, get the air building here for us so we can uh, get him, whoops, get him lined up here behind our other semi. As soon as the grain cart dumps here, we're going to be able to send this guy on his merry way. Get him headed up to the main farmyard. Get this semi all fired up here as well. It shouldn't take too long to get it filled up. My hope is that the grain cart has more than, I think I've got it set at 5% to drive on when it's unloading. So I'm hoping it's got more than 5% and it stays here so I can make sure to get the other semi in the right spot here. Here we go, we're all filled up. So we're gonna get this guy pointed down the road here. Tell auto drive to do its thing. And let's see if I can pull the other semi in here and get it all lined up without uh, interfering with our course play course. Here we go. Now that auger tends to point forward quite a bit, so I don't want to go too far forward here. So I think I'll back up just a smidge here, so it's at least in one of the middle compartments here on this semi. And we'll leave this guy here. Grain cart's already emptied out. And moving and grooving here. Let's see where all this is going to go. I think we're in a good spot. Now, the saving grace, I suppose, of these combines uh, heading down the end rows here like this with uh, their headers down for some reason is that uh, they're not filling up with corn as they get back down here to the corner. So, hopefully... Our green cart's going to be able to catch up here. A little burst of lag as the green cart tries to figure out how to get to the combine. Unfortunately, there's no path. Our lead combine's going to need to cut in, I think, so I'm sure that's what it's figuring out how to do. There it goes, cutting into the row. Oh, yeah. So our grain cart will uh, figure out how to get out here and unload that momentarily here. A little bit of a game stutter here. And here he comes. So, yep, performance-wise, not, uh, not super happy with the occasional stutter there, of course, play. But I think once we get going here on lands mode, uh, we really shouldn't have too many more of these stops. We'll have plenty of room for the pathfinding to figure out what it's doing, so... I am excited. We've got everything moving and grooving, fully automated with the exception of unloading the semis, which, uh, let's be honest, uh, I kind of like uh, making sure that that's all going well anyway. Letting course play back into uh, an auger setup has the recipe for disaster. I suspect that that could uh, get messy really quick if it went wrong. So. I'd rather have something to do here. I don't want to fully automate 100% of this experience. And we still have enough time to come up here and check on everything, make sure it's moving appropriately. So this is the perfect level of automation for us on this small farm. And there we go. We've got uh, our semi back up at the other end of the map here. So let's jump into the map and just keep things moving. Now, before we start dumping this, I'm just curious how many uh, liters are in here. So this is 337,000 liters. And if I dump all of this uh, semi into there, I can't remember how big these are. So I'm kind of curious. I guess I could look in the store. A little over 100,000 liters. All right. So at a little over 100,000 liters per semi, it looks like we're going to get less than three full semis in here. And we're just now finishing with the headlands, and we've put two in. So we're definitely going to get ahead of the dryer at some point here. I'll be really curious to see how the next several truckloads go, because we are filling up these trucks right quick here. 
So I'm going to send this guy back on down to the field and we'll hop over and see where we're at. Our grain cart is sitting at about 57% here and both combines are moving which is good so they'll spin back around here and I expect call for an unload which should uh, keep us pretty busy here so we'll end up coming back down towards the right end of the field there for unloading which will be nice and our combine didn't make it to the end he had a few feet left and course play decided to cut in on us unfortunate but it is what it is and so the grain cart's going to come and take care of this. We're so low on fuel, so we're going to need to get these things refueled when they get back onto the other end of the field as well. However, I think this is going to be a great place to wrap up today's episode. We're getting everything all opened up here and ready to go. In fact, if we bring this up, it's going to take uh, about an hour and 15 minutes to wrap up all of the corn harvest on this field. So we'll be diving into that next episode here and see how things go. That's all for today. Ketterk out. So we're getting up here. It looks like at just the right moment. He's just about full. Oh, we missed it by a moment. We're going to back up with him here and just see how much we can take off. After he cuts in, I'm really hoping he'll change his mind and come right back out. We were a smidge slow on getting up here. That looks a little funny there, course play, with your header going through the corn row. Lift it up when you're not combining. <laughs> 